Introduction of Color, The Tale of Two Kings. Long ago, the world was a place devoid of color. And so it remained until the spirit of creation made four simple shapes using red, blue, green, and yellow. These shapes became the sun, sea, land, and wind. Afterwards, the spirit of creation made two other shapes. The first was mankind, possessed of a free mind. The second were doodles, possessed of a free body. Humans were able to create doodles, and doodles made new colors. The world was filled with color, and the humans were happy. One day, however, a king was born among the humans. This king, in order to obtain more colors, enslaved the doodles. But in doing so, the human king deeply saddened the doodle king. The doodle king pleaded with the spirit of creation. Spirit, please do not let those whose hearts are impure continue to create doodles. If you grant this wish, I will return to you both my body and all the colors under my control. The spirit granted the wish, and from then on, only those who possessed a pure heart were able to create doodles. The doodles were freed from their enslavement. But the cost was heavy. The doodles lost their king, and many of the world's colors disappeared. Frustrated, the human king looked to control those humans still able to create doodles. In doing so, he turned one group of people against another and brought misery upon the world. Wake up. Hello all, I'm Zachary Chalcom, and this is Magic Pendule, Quest for Color. Here on GameAnyone.com. Now we're going to sign in like I normally do, with Zaki. That was a nice little introduction to give the plot of the game. I do have to say Feel something myself. Feel free to draw any shape you wish using this pen gel. Any shape? What? The shape you draw will lead you on your quest. Cool. And this is the basis of the game. I will not draw a circle, but... Drawing... Yeah, come on. Drawing... Uh, doodles. And you bring them to life. In kind of a cartoony shape. They kind of look like they've been drawn with crayons. But they're... they're how the outside works. Really do like the music of this game. I'm not gonna lie. Probably most of you have never heard of this game before. 
it's a really good game, which I'm very surprised nobody's ever, almost nobody's heard of it before. I know it's not on Game Anyone yet, I've checked multiple times. But it's, one of, it's such an interesting concept too, so... Drawing what you use. I mean, the successor to this game was Graffiti Kingdom. I've already done this, and you can find it on my channel, on either on YouTube or on Game Anyone. But it's just interesting, and it's not used anymore. Oh no! Is she going to get it? Go! 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 Uh oh. Into the drink. Sploosh. Oh, there's the sploosh. Stupid dog. I wouldn't be very happy after that. I, I really wouldn't. I really wouldn't. She doesn't look very happy at that. Uh, uh, ow. Mmm. Okay. We just met you and, and 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 you're going to throw our shoes at us. Well, we did make you fall off a cliff, so. This is your doodle, right? You need to keep an eye on it. See, I told you so. You need to take better care of your doodles. Fine. We will. Who are you? You don't look like you're from around here. <laughs> Taro, pick yourself up. It's just a doggy. Let me borrow your pendule. Okay? Sure. What you gonna do? Press the triangle button if you want to change colors. Bow. Press the X button to confirm menu selections. Let's make it red! And... Like I said, this is the base of the game. You're gonna draw a pendulum. We're gonna draw one of my doodles right now. But if you'd like to submit a doodle, you can. There'll be a thread in the video description of either YouTube or Game Anyone. And on YouTube, or until Game Anyone adds annotations on the videos too, which they wouldn't, there'll be a link to the video um, where I put out a contest for Magic Pendulum. To make your own doodles and submit them, I'll use them, and the winner will get certain prizes. Uh, if you are in game anyone, you'll get a bunch of credits, and the same thing will happen in, uh... We'll find something else if you just don't want to join game anyone, but you should join game anyone if you haven't already. It is a great site. But anyway, let's draw... Uh... This, this thing. Before anybody says something like the sound is off or something like that, it really... What you are seeing, it is not off. It is, uh... That's exactly what it is. Now if we want to change parts, we go to the parts menu, and we go down. Get a heart of part, which can be, as it says, can be made into protrusions such as spikes or horns. Why don't we give this guy a tail? The bar up here, this bar up here, is uh, how much we can draw. And that is which way it's facing. So, and if you click on a part, like I just did, without moving your pendule, you'll get where it, you're going to place it. So it's going to be placed right there. I'll make this parallel. And then I'm going to draw something. Hopefully I can get all the way through it. That's not too bad. When you're done, open the menu and select finish. And you really want to try to use up all of that line as possible. I want to draw more! Darn it, okay. Open the... Is my controller not working? Aha! It, I must have... When did I hit the analog button? Oh well. Alright, and then you can go... You can go through, uh... How... The doodle... Does stuff. Dancing song. Now give the doodle a name. Um, let's call this guy Chip. And you can give your doodle creations a name as well. The contest for this will go on as long as the. Uh, That's a funny name. That's as long as. It's easy, huh? 
I continue on the LP until the I'm done. When I'm done, then the contest will end. Obviously. That's a funny name too. Yep, that is a funny name. Hey, my name is not funny. Well, that's it. <laughs> Taro is not the f greatest name either. <laughs> but then we've got a uh, couple of Zoe's doodles. You can use a pencil. You're not part of the kingdom, are you? No, we're nameless protagonists that just got a name. Just peered out of nowhere, just poof! We are here. Hey, I'm going to the marketplace. Follow me! Zoe, wait for me! Most of the time when I'm going to draw a doodle, it'll either be part of the episode and uh, will be extremely sped up, not have my commentary over it, probably music over it, or it'll be a separate episode altogether where I just draw the whole... I draw the doodle. Submitted by all of you. Hopefully. Because this is more fun if I... We, not just my doodles, have everybody else's doodles in it. It just makes the whole LP and the whole experience for all the viewers more fun. If you're gonna enter the tournament. tournament? What tournament? You said nothing about a tournament. I don't want to do in a tournament. What are you doing? Uh, being forced into a tournament. That, that's just great. We got a knickknack shop there. We got lots of people in town. And this is the second part of basically the world that Magic Angel goes in. What is your problem, sir? Hold on. I want to stop by Granny. I wonder if I need new batteries. Zoe, is that a new friend? No. And you can't get stuck on some of the scenery, which is a little bit annoying. Hey, but Granny! Not that great. Are you there? Oh, hello, dear. The little oh, lights that are hovering here. around people's later, heads, so those are also okay? pendulums. We're in a hurry. See you later, Granny. We're going to the arena. Zoe, wait for me! I don't know why Taro didn't get a voice box there. King of the There is no such thing as a king. The king of the duels does not exist. Anyway, before that cutscene happened, I was gonna explain what Zoe Zoe was giving Granny there some gems. Which are color gems, which she's gonna turn into gold color gems, which is what used as currency. I already told you, you can't enter without a pendulum, understand? We are like the British soldiers that will not move at all. See, I told you so. The doodle tournaments are being held inside. Yay! Hurry! You're the one entering. What? I'm entering? Why is this? I feel like I've been conned into something here. Actually, hold on a second. I can't pause it. I will. Hold on, I'm going to go change batteries in my controller. Alright, I'm back. I fixed it. Let's go to this arena guard here. This main arena for the kingdom's official duels are held. The kingdom preliminaries are being held today. Right now, the rules are one versus one. Do you want to enter? I don't know why they... Just animate, do you want to enter? Or put a sound clip with that, but whatever. Oh no!
Let's go over the basics of the battle doodle battles and slash duels. Both opponents select up to select their doodles up to three and then battle and duel. And then the battle and duel begins. Man, I can't read today. To claim victory, reduce the HP of all your opponent's doodles to zero. During each turn, both competitors select the skill their doodle will use next. The outcome will turn the outcome of the turn is the one that each skill depends on each of the skill that selects. Let's discuss the different skills and how they work. Yeah, attack, magic, charge, and block. There are four main skills that a doodle can use. You have attack, magic, charge, and block. Um, here's how the skills rotate with each other. Attack is strong against block. Uh, block is strong against magic. Magic is strong against attack. And they're all strong against charge. Well, that's that's not really true. It's all about neutral with charge because they you, you get off a of charge, you take about neutral damage. So whatever. Don't forget that each skill relates to each other. Uh, let's look at the dual battle screen. Here's where your skills are from. That's your uh, doodles stats with the HP on top and the NP on the bottom. That's the commands. And pressing the button has it do that, and that's your doodle, of course. Um, we're gonna start off with some magic. So, I could do Mad Block, or I could do Magic Curse, but I'm going to do Magic Curse because that's what Zoe wants us to do. And notice I do Magic, and he does Attack. The Attack doesn't even go through, and the Magic hits. Because it's faster than the Attack gets to you. Good job! The other Doodle didn't even inflict any damage, did it? That's because the Attack and Magic... They pick Attack, and you pick Magic. Everyone knows Magic beats Attack. Sure! Now let's move on. As we mentioned before, there are four types of skills. Attack, skill inflicts heavy physical damage. Magic inflicts some damage and sometimes status effects. However, magic uses MP. Block negates magic and inflicts some damage. Or reflects the magic back at them. Charge does no damage and covers some HP and raises the doodle's damage potential for the next turn. Make sure you don't forget what I've just told you. Now let's use attack by pressing the L1 button. Also notice we can't pick magic now, and they can't pick attack now. So we're going to attack, and they're going to use magic. I really wouldn't have used ma attack, but that's what Zoe wanted us to do. It's basically like rock, paper, scissors, or a very, very complicated rock, paper, scissors, in a way. As you just noticed, once a skill has been used, it, can, it has to take one turn to refresh, and the maximum number of skills available per turn is three. Charge cannot be used on the first turn. This diagram shows the three starting skills. So as you start with magic, uh, you choose up those three the next time. Charges and can't be used on the first turn. But pay attention. Choose block. Not that that's very good right now because he doesn't have magic. There, there, there are simple strategies you should basically go by when you play this, which I'll go over it when we're actually doing fighting. And notice also, uh, Dorag is has blue, which means he's a magic type, and we are have a red border around it with a, a punching glove, and we are an attack type, which means technically that an advantage should go to Durag. Ouch, both doodles use the same skills, and they each take damage. In these instances, the doodle with the higher agility stack goes first. Since both use block, you both have the same skill choices this turn. Let's use charge. So charge, you can press either L2 or R2. We're gonna press R2. We're gonna press R2. Why the crap are... Come on, controller. <sighs> I don't know what is wrong with this thing. I might have to switch to a wire controller. No! Your doodle recovers some HP, yes, and that isn't all charge does. It also increases the damage the doodle does next turn. But make sure you don't miss. So let's use our skill we're going to use next. It looks like the best choice is attack. Why? The opponent has to use one of these three skills next. Which means we have the best advantage over them. You beat them with block, and you he won't hit you, so you can't lose with charge. Seriously. 
controller is right here. So let's use attack. Attack, see, and that's just kind of what one of the uh, its strategies to it. Knowing what the opponent can do, so you can either tie with attack or beat them flat out, and you just want to play that way the entire way around. And every time you, if you like lose one, you basically want to charge so you can get a kind of at a standstill, or you can balance it. I think that wraps up battle and dueling. You'll win. When you win a battle duel, you'll be rewarded with color gems based on what the other duel's color is. You need to draw these doodles, make sure you collect a lot of them. Come on. <sighs> I will fix this by the time of the next episode. Alright, so it's a magic type, um, we did block la or we did attack last time, or we did magic last time. Um, this is always the toughest part of it, because you don't know, like, okay, what are they going to start off with? Now, me, I know personally at the beginning, they tend to start off with what type they are, so he's going to probably start off with magic, and I'm going to block because of that. And that's what I'm going to try to do, but I don't know what he'll do. See, this time he's going to attack. So I guess he's going to do exactly the same thing that he did last time. So to negate that, why don't we charge? So now he's going to block, which is going to be fairly weak when he's doing damage. And now our, we have the advantage of knowing what would be the best thing to do. In this case, it would be magic. And unfortunately, our paralysis didn't have any effect, but hopefully their charge seal doesn't have any effect either. Now, with the magic effects, you can charge, you can seal something, you can make a mad block, you can do a lot of different things. Ooh, just barely. Now, hopefully the stomp, we can do just enough damage. Because we are an attack type, so it's what our main stat is on. So we just made Dureg's color fade. Yay! And we got some sea blue color gems, and our doodles gained 12 experience. And our pendule leveled up. Which gets him a little brush on the top of his head. Which means we can draw more. Err, I already don't like him because of the music. Hey, what are you doing? Hey! Those are our color gems! Go away, you jerk! Grrr. Hey, those are our gems! Oh! What are you doing? Give them back! <laughs> Don't yell at me, little one. First trip to the arena, eh? <laughs> Marshall! Not many gems today, but they'll have to do. The kingdom must be compensated. <laughs> well, anyway, every time after an arena battle, Yos gets to talk to this guy. Saki, since you won the preliminary match, your doodle capacity has been upgraded. You also gain the ability to draw arm parts. Yeah, options when you to draw arms. I have a message for you from Sir Kibo, the famous doodler. Uh, doodles are wondrous creatures and you can learn a lot from them. We'll keep that in mind. And we'll also continue this next time on more Magic Pinjol. I'm Zachary Chalcom, and if you'd like to be part of the doodle contest, do so in the uh, comment section or the description below. I'll see you guys later.